Hi, I'm Joey Weiser, author of the Merman graphic novel series and Ghost Hog from Oni Press, and today I'm going to show you how to draw the main character of Ghost Hog, Truff. So we're going to start with this blank piece of paper here and a pencil. I use a blue pencil, um, which is something I can use so I can be kind of sketchy and make mistakes, and it's okay because they're not going to show up in the final drawing because I'm going to put black lines on top of it. Um, and what I like to do is start with basic uh, shapes here and then build on top of it. So trough starts with one circle and then a slightly smaller circle on top of it. So there's uh, the basics for her head and then I put two diagonal ovals on top. They kind of overlap and it's okay if some of it shows through because I'll show you what I do with that. And then her body is sort of a curved rectangle shape. And I'm gonna do some lines down the middle, or on the sides here, uh, to give you her arms. And she has a scarf that she wears that I start by drawing in the knot in the middle, and then two kind of like noodle shapes here, and then some triangular shapes that are the edges of her scarf. And then Truff is a uh, ghost. She's the ghost of a young boar, wild pig. So I'm going to draw a little ghosty tail there and maybe some ghosty flames. Makes her a little spooky looking. Um, then I'm going to ink on top of this basic drawing to give me the final drawing. And I start out by inking with a brush. Uh, this is a brush that I dip into uh, ink. You see I've got a little ink well here. Um, but you can use whatever you like to ink on top of things, markers, or you could get away from ink and use colored pencils or whatever you like to draw with. I like the brush because I can push hard on it to get thick lines and, and use it lightly to make thin lines and do all sorts of different effects that look like kind of classic cartoons. Um, so, but a thing that you have to be careful with ink is to not smudge it. So I'm going to start at the top and kind of work my way down and draw that way so I don't run my hand over it <clears throat> and make mistakes. So starting with this oval on top, I'm going to draw her first ear and I kind of trace around the oval, but I don't draw it all the way around. I leave a little empty there. And then off of there, off of her ear, Truff has these little spikes of hair and then draw another ear behind it and then using the second smaller circle I can figure out where her nose is go here and then where that second circle meets the first big circle that's the edge of her nose and her chin and she's got more hair on the side of her face comes off you can see I'm dragging the brush I'm not I'm, I'm pulling it, I'm not pushing it. If you push the brush this way, it'll make the bristles bend and get them all messed up. <clears throat> so that's the basics of her face there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave her facial features blank for now, and we'll get back to those. So I'm gonna go in and start working on her scarf first, because that's kinda on top. And Truff is the ghost of a young boar, like I said, and she, um, the ghost hog story is kind of inspired by the kind of stories that I like that I call spooky but not scary. Um, I like uh, monsters and creatures and creepy ideas and things like that, but I don't actually like being scared, so I don't like super scary horror movies and things like that. Um, but some comics that I really love that are kind of spooky but not scary include Shigeru Mizuki's uh, Kitaro books, some Japanese comics about um, yokai from Japan, and The Creepy Case Files of Margot Malou by Drew Wang. That, that's a really great one. Um, you might have seen Luke Pearson's Hilda uh, comics. Those are um, There's some cartoons based off of that on Netflix that are fun. Um, so you can trace around the edge here uh, to get her arms and her where before her hands start, her fur stops. And so we've got these kind of little bumps here for the fur, and her hands are actually hooves. So we're gonna draw in some hooves here. And if I push down harder on the brush, you can see I can make these big, thick lines that I can use to fill up the space here. 
make her hooves, make them look a little pointier. <clears throat> and then um, her torso here. I'm going to draw very lightly with the brush to make some hair effects. Her other hand, right here, it's going kind of behind her spirit trail there. And this is where I can really use the brush to do thick and thin lines, give you that fun, spooky look. Like that. And so that's the basics of what I'm gonna do with the brush, but there's some more fine details to do. And for little details, what I like to use are croquill pens, these metal tipped pens that I'm gonna actually dip in ink. Um, I use a few different sizes for different things. Today, I'm gonna just use this one. So I'm gonna start with her face. If I kind of imagine, and sometimes I draw this in that her face, that circle I had drawn, is like round like a beach ball and has these middle lines that go through it. I've got these kind of guiding lines that I can use and imagine that one eye is on one side of this line and one eye is on the other side and they kind of follow along with that horizontal line there. So I'm gonna put in two dots. Oops. Make sure I dip that in enough ink. A little dot there, a little dot there. And Truff is a sort of grumpy character. She has a lot to be grumpy about being a ghost and haunting places and things like that. So I give her a diagonal line to give her kind of an angry looking eyebrow. And uh, then we'll do the nostrils here to give her a cute snout. And you know, I like um, my characters to still be pretty fun. And even so, even though she's a kind of spooky character, an angry, grumpy character, I'm going to give her a smile here and draw up here. I'm giving her, she's got a little tooth that sticks out because um, she's a boar. And then um, her scarf, I'm going to give a few details here to look like the scarf is tucked in at this knot here. And then... Um, Finally, using the same pen, I can ink in these little spirit flames. Oh, didn't have enough ink on the tip, so I had to dip that back in ink. So you've got that little split here, so I'm going to fill that in. And there she is, Truff, the, the ghost hog. Uh, I hope that you enjoy uh, reading the Ghost Hog graphic novel and can use this video to draw your own.